joining me on my program once again. I appreciate you wherever you are joining me from. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Accept my greeting according to your time zone. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a video. You can be among the first to receive it. Then go to the comment section at all time. Leave your comment, drop your contribution. If you have suggestions, make it out there. If you have any criticism, put it down on the comment section. It will make us to get better. Presenting you a better program. Thank you so much. Remember, this is an autopiloted platform. A platform autopiloted by Chuku Kukabiyama himself. Under the spokesmanship of Mazi Samon Epa, the new Prime Minister of the Afra Republic government in exile, and on the leadership of Martin Nandekano, that is where we stand. That is where we stand. And we will continue to preach the gospel. We will continue to speak to people that care to listen, so that they will listen. We will continue to bring out the truth to the world, to hear the truth of the whole matter. That is what we do on this platform. We don't come here to preach hate. We don't come here to preach blackmail or propaganda. What we do here is to speak the truth and nothing but the truth, to set the record straight, debunk all lies against us and against our new Prime Minister, Biafra Republic government in exile, all the lies against Mazen Nandekano and the IPOB. We dissolve all the lies on this very platform. And we have come once again, most importantly, to encourage Biafrans on the way forward, and also on doing the right thing. That is why we always come online, and here we are today. Anselm, Anselm, thank you for joining. I appreciate everybody that have joined. Please, as you join us on this broadcast, you share the broadcast so that other people can be able to join us. Today, we have chosen the general topic, obedience is better than sacrifice. That is what we have chosen to discuss about today. Thank you for joining Akuchinya and Wata. May Chukwu Kukabiyama continue to guide and bless you. Mark Chima, thank you for joining. Please, as you join, you share the broadcast on your own platform. Share it to any WhatsApp group you belong. That is what we have today. Obedient is better than sacrifice. Obedient is better than sacrifice. It is very important for us to listen to the voice of reason. It is very important. Our supreme leader, Mazen Nande Kano, has planted a seed in us. And we have to allow that seed to grow. How do we allow that seed to grow? It is by obedience. Obon Naya Ugu, thank you so much for joining. It is by obedience. You have to be obedient to the words and messages of Mazen Nandekano. Don't get confused when I talk about obedience is better than sacrifice. I'm talking about the real obedience. That is what I'm talking about. Obeying the real man, obeying the real world, obeying the real message from Chukwu Kukabiam. That is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the worldly and the fake obedience. No. I'm talking about the real obedience. Obeying those words that Chukwu Kukabiam have spoken through our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekano. Mazen Nandekano gave us so many messages and so many instructions on what we should do what we should obey, the road to follow. He has told us so many wonderful things that we should do if we must succeed. I expect every one of you today to stand up, to sit up and ask yourself some questions. Ask yourself, are you doing those things that our Supreme Leader Mazen Nande cannot have told us to do? He is the only man that has spoken for us, that has been there for us all this while, for more than a decade. He has been preaching, he has been shouting, he has been talking, and you said you are listening. Today I'm asking you, are you sure 
you are obeying the instructions given to us by Mazen Nandekan, the Supreme Leader of IPOB. That is a very tough question that you must have to ask yourself and answer it sincerely within yourself. Do not give the same answer your brother have given simply because your brother said something you begin to give the same answer. Give your own answer. Ask yourself your own question. Are you obeying the directives of our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekan? Begin to ask yourself, question yourself one after the other on things that he said we should do. There are some popular things that Mazen Nandekan have told us to do. There are some very important strategies he has told us to follow. There are some certain key words that Mazen Nandekan have used. Are you obeying those words? One of those words that I will remind you today is what we call consistency. Consistency. That is one of the words that Mazen Nandekan gave us and he told us that that is the key. The key to our freedom. The key to succeed in this very restoration of Biafra. Consistency. And you have seen Mazen Nandekano. He didn't only tell us about consistency. He put it in practice. He lived a consistent life while he was with us. He was consistently making his demand. He was consistent in his request. And in this generation, we are expected to be consistent. You are expected to be consistent. And every one of us have to be very, very consistent in whatever we are saying and whatever we are doing. Consistency is the key. Our Supreme Leader Mazen Nandekan said that. And I can tell you, if you can judge effectively those who are following the instruction of Mazen Nandekan diligently, those who are working with the message of Mazen Nandekan, if you want to follow it diligently and want to know those who are pursuing that word effectively, Look at people who are consistent in their words. Are you consistent in your demand? Are you consistent in your message? Or is it today you are standing with Biafra, tomorrow you are standing with the politicians, the next tomorrow you are standing with the Johannes and Dib, next minute you are standing with the enemies of Biafra? How consistent have you been? Are you asking for the independence of Biafra land or you are asking for Igbo presidency? Are you one of those who is talking several things at the same time? Ask yourself, how consistent are you in the pursuit of the freedom of the Biafran people? Obedience is better than sacrifice. How obedient have you been to the messages that Mazen Nandekanu left for us? One of the major instructions that Mazen Nandekanu kept for us was when he was making his analysis while he was preaching the message to wake every one of us up he made a remarkable statement that we must not forget about our new prime minister of the Afrika government in exile our new prime minister of the Afrika republic government in exile Mazen Simon Epa Mazen Nandekanu gave us an assignment about him are you obedient to that word? Are you obedient to that instruction that was given to Mazen Nandekan? That Mazen Nandekan gave to us. Are you obedient to it? If you are not obedient to those what he gave us, you have to retrace your step. Our Supreme Mazen Nandekan who told us about the new dimension. Everything we are saying today is just to refresh your memory so that you don't get confused because there are so many people who, now who claim to be confused. Some say they don't know who is telling them the right thing and who is not telling the right thing. Some say they don't know where to follow. If you are getting confused, it means you are not an obedient student of Mazen Nandekan. You are welcome, Candy. Thank you for joining. You are not an obedient student. If you are an obedient student of Mazen Nandekan, you can't be confused at this point in time. Every revelation you you want to see are there. Mazen Nandekan expressly told us about the new Prime Minister of the African government in exile. 
And you heard what Mazin Nanakan warned him and told him, do not allow Satan to enter you. Mazin Nanakan told him expressly, do not allow Satan to enter you. And that is why he doesn't tolerate any nonsense around him. Some of you ask him, why is he not giving people some chances? Why is he so harsh? Why is he taking action so fast? That is one of the reasons why our new Prime Minister of the African government in exile is taking action. Mazen Simon Eber. He never forgets that thing that Mazen Nankan told him. Do not allow the devil to enter you. That is why he doesn't give chances. He is a good listener of Mazen Nandekano. He made promises to Mazen Nandekano that he will never betray him. And that is why he is holding his ground. Running away from every devil that wants to enter him. Ask yourself, are you a good student of Mazen Nandekano? Obedience is better than sacrifice. How obedient are you? To the instructions given expressly by Mazen Nandekan. Before his kidnap, he told us about the new dimension. Before his kidnap, he told us, even while he was with us, while he was he told us to go and listen to Mazen Simon Ewa, watch his videos, share his videos, and make sure that he reaches to everyone. He did. Why he was not after his kingdom? Why he was with us? How obedient are you to those instructions? How obedient are you? Mazen Nandekano did not stop there. He gave us so many instructions on what to do. He told us about the new dimension that this very person he's talking about, whom he told us to listen to at all times, who he told us to watch his video and share it that he is bringing a new dimension into that very struggle and so many of us have been waiting for that new dimension that Mazen Nani kind of talked about we have been waiting for it all of a sudden today that new dimension has been opened fully we are in that new dimension today we are fully in that new dimension today that is why you can see the effective activities and open declaration of the new Biafra Republic government in exile that have been established and activated by the Prime Minister, Mazisa Maneba. Obedience is better than sacrifice. How far have you been obedient to the word of Mazen Nandikan, to the messages of Mazen Nandikan? How obedient have you been to his words? If you have not been obedient to the word, retrace your step. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Some of you who are saying, I will die for Mazen Nandekano, why don't you release him? Why are you doing this? What are we going to do to release him? What is it? You shout and you talk in WhatsApp group and everywhere you ask on some questions, some unnecessary questions that you ask. But the simplest thing that Mazen Nandekano told you, how obedient are you to that word? If you are obedient, to the words of Mazen Nandekan, you wouldn't have any reason to worry. You wouldn't have any reason to trouble yourself. Ask yourself again, how obedient have you been to the messages of our Supreme Mazen Nandekan, who has given us the charge, given us the direction, who have led the foundation that we are following? If you ask yourself that question genuinely, and you give a genuine answer, you will have a better stance on how to pursue this struggle and whom to listen to. Yeah, welcome, my beloved brother Ifan Yumora. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 my brother, the king. Good to see you, my brother. It's been a long time. Good to see you. It's been very long. How have you been doing? Ah, uh, thank God. It's it's been very tough online. You no, know, I've been on suspension for a very long time on this very platform. I couldn't be able to come online. So the challenges and attack they are given to us on the platform is so heavy that in most of the platform that we have, most of the time you get a restriction, you can't even share a video nor come live. So sometimes when we have to disappear like that, that is what happens. And that's why we create so many platforms that people can be able to pull up. That's it. 
You're welcome, my brother. The zoo full and the government, the zoo full and the government will do whatever they want. But at the end, the Biafra will come. I hope I'm coming at you. I hope I'm coming out. Uh, you can increase your volume. We're not hearing you clearly. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Not very clearly. I don't know. Wow. It's not clear here. Well, let, me, let me go out and come out. Okay. It's not clear. No disciple with your procedure. Sometimes but uh, the Facebook uh, pain becomes difficult for us to be able to cope up with. So they always give us so many challenges and that's why we are trying to be able to restrict ourselves from certain things because they have, have so many restrictions and so many boundaries they have created for us. But we will not allow that to distract, distract us or we will not allow that to derail our dire direction and where we are going. We have to be focused. Pursuing that which matters. So, as I was saying, obedience is better than sacrifice. How obedient have you been? If you are obedient to our Supreme Master Nandikan, you must be obedient to every word that you hear from our new Biafra Republic, uh, our, our Prime Minister. You must have to obey every word you hear from our prime minister if you are obedient to Mazen Nandikana you should be likewise obedient to him because I bet you our new prime minister of Biafra government in exile was ordained was ordained by our supreme Mazen Nandikana so if, if you are a true follower of Mazen Nandikana and obedient to the words and directives of Mazen Nandikana you should be obedient to our Prime Minister, Master Simon Ever. You should be obedient. You don't have any reason to doubt. The only reason why you are living in doubt, you are thinking who is on the right path or who is on the wrong side, is because you are not obedient and you're not paying attention. If you're obedient to the instructions of Mazen Nandekano and you are paying attention to events that are unfolded from the kidnap of Mazen Nandekano up to date, you have no reason to be doubting who is following or who is not following. There's no reason to doubt. You shouldn't have any doubt. You shouldn't have any doubt whatsoever. But when you are not obedient to the messages and words of Mazen Nandekano, there is no way you can connect to the present event. You will always remain in confusion. You will always be part of that confusion. You will always be confused at every given point. But if you are an obedient follower of Mazen Nandekano, you wouldn't have any reason to have a doubt. You wouldn't have any doubt whatsoever on whom to follow, whom to listen to, or the direction to go. It is very important for us to be obedient. Think backwards about the messages that Mazen Nandekano gave. There are some important things he told us. Consistency is the key. He told us about that. He went for that to tell us whom to listen to. He didn't even stop. Even after he was kidnapped, after Mazen Nandekano was kidnapped, with the little opportunity he had, he still confirmed that person he said we should listen to. And he gave him the permission to run the affairs of the auto polluted IPOB, of IPOB as a whole, until he joins us. That was the instruction. But the enemies began to fight against the words of Mazen Nandekano because they were not obedient. The same people who we are preaching to you command and control they break every single command that was given to them they break every single command but that did not stop the work of Shuku Kabyan from going forward yet that anointed new dimension continued to flourish continue to expand from glory to glory from strength to strength on daily basis regardless of all the attacks and it will continue to be so whether they like it or not I want every Biafran to pay attention and listen to themselves. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obey every word that you have heard from Mazen Nanika in the past and listen to his disciple. It will do you a lot of good. You're yeah, welcome, my beloved brother Solomon. Thank you so much for joining.
Good to see you today. Finally, they have lifted our band and uh, get away. Thank you, Kuku Kevin, for bringing us back. The only thing we have to do now is that they have given us some conditions to restrict our words. Certain words, if you want to use a hard word, you better you, use, you speak the word in Igbo language. You use vernacular. When you want to say certain things, you just use vernacular and say it, that people will still understand. So they, they try to cage us, but they always try to overcome them and speak the word. Thank you, my brother. You're welcome. Hello. Your 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 voice is echoing. Your voice is echoing. It's not clear. It's echoing. Yeah, welcome back, my beloved brother. If I can you hear me? Yes, I can okay. hear you. Okay, same here. I can hear you clearly now. It's better now. Okay, it's better now. Yeah, you're welcome. I can hear you now. Okay. I was telling you then that uh, we must keep on uh, pushing. Exactly. That they are suspending everybody once you're doing something that is kicking against the, the, the conquest of the Fulani Caliphate. They will suspend you. That's right. They have suspended by account and that account is suspended in a, 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 on Twitter, they restored it back. And I'm using okay. it now. We are on Twitter, we are on Twitter now as, we are, as, I'm, as I'm discussing with you here. I just oh. saw your this in the notification, I say, it has been long I speak with my brother, let me just come and say hi. Thank yes. you so much, my beloved brother. That's literally, I've not been online because of the suspension also. I've been suspended here, I couldn't be able to come online to make any live video. They suspended me from making live in most of my platforms, suspensions and suspensions. Some I can't even share any video. So I've been going through that. that yeah, on you, would have, you, should, you would have joined us on Twitter now. You would have joined yeah. us on Twitter. I, I, Twitter I'm going to do that. I think I will start coming on Twitter. Uh, 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 for, you you, you must have to start coming on Twitter because Twitter is where the whole thing is happening. We are yeah. we are engaging, since yesterday, we are engaging the Fulanese. We have over... I hosted a space yesterday. We have over 1,700 and something. We have a lot of Fulanese that come there to debunk what we are saying. That's amazing. To speak against what we are saying, that we are preaching hate speech against them. <laughs> Why they are doing the hate action? I ask. Hate speech <laughs> and hate action. If you say that what are the truth that I'm speaking is the hate speech, then the hate action that you are killing my people, raping our mothers, raping our girls, maiming people, killing pregnant women, which one is better? Is it me killing you or me talking about the killings that you're doing in my land that you're enough is enough, that I don't want you to kill me anymore? Back to what you're discussing, my brother, let not just uh, divert your attention to the topic you have, which is obedience to whatever Martin Nandi has given as a command. You know why these people can never obey the command of Mazen and the Kano is because they never genuine, they were never genuine from the onset. They All see right. the program of IPOB as an avenue number one to make themselves popular. Secondly, to enrich their pocket. That's why every one of them placed him or herself on salary to be receiving salary. So as you are agitating genuinely with your resources, you put in your money. You put in your time when you should be at work, when others are working to feed their family or to send money to their people at home. You we are here propagating the gospel, preaching the gospel, the freedom that will liberate millions of people and your entire generations on bond. They are busy. They want to be doing the same job, but they, want, they don't want to miss anything. They want that same money they should be getting in their place of work. They want to be getting it now as they are doing brokers. If they do brokers, you give them money to subscribe their Wi-Files, 
you give them money to buy the phone, the gadgets that they will use to do it. You give them money for everything. Every expenses that they are running in their homes, you even pay tax. You even pay them. You even you even pay their tax. Like the one they call the name Neanya. IPOB pay their it pays their tax. Exactly. And takes her health and uh, everything that has to do with his health issues. IPOB takes care of it. We are asked where he's working. Where he's working, he should have health insurance. Exactly. Where he's working because where he's working is not zoo. So now, the health insurance that the company where he, she's working is taking care of. He's collecting, she's collecting the money from IPOB. Whenever she's sick, she goes to the hospital and the, the, the company that, 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 that already ensured her health in a particular um, a hospital, that whenever she's sick, that she should go there. Whenever she went there, whatever the doctors diagnose, whether she's sick or not, they will come out and tell IPOB, I'm just coming out, I've been hospitalized for one week, and the bill there is over $2,000. IPOB will pay. So 